Google Tag Manager provides exporting and importing container functionality. When you export a container, it's exported as a JSON file. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It essentially looks like a text file and can be opened in the notepad as well. This file format is used for importing and exporting data. Exported containers can be then modified to make bulk changes, shared with other, with other accounts, and can be stored externally. Say if you want to store it in a central location where you manage the versions, even though Google Tag Manager provide versioning, but some companies want to manage it in a different system, that's where you can store it externally. And then you can also import it back into Tag Manager. Most common uses are for bulk changes to tag configuration. So if you have a bunch of things you wanna change, you can export the file and make changes and then import it back. You can set up a new site with identical structure. You want to use the same tags and triggers and variables. You can export all your configuration and then import it into the new site. You can also share your containers with others so they can take the solution that you have crafted and import it into their containers. This is commonly referred as sharing a Tag Manager recipe. So when you see somebody sharing a Tag Manager recipe with a downloadable file, they're giving you a JSON file that you can then import it into your container. And as I mentioned before, you can store website configuration data in a central location. Great for bigger companies where you have a separate versioning system and you want to manage everything centrally. All your changes go in central location and are managed there. Let's go into Google Tag Manager and see how it works. In Google Tag Manager, click on Admin, and under Containers, click on Export Container. We are first going to Export, and then I'm gonna show you how to import it back. So click on Export. This is where you choose a version of the workspace that you want to export. So click on it, and here you have all the options available. I am going to pick YouTube Tracking. This container will contain everything that has been set up so far. So that's the version of the workspace when we set up YouTube tracking. You cannot pick a particular trigger or tag. You have to export the workspace as it was at that point. So here you have, this is a JSON file. Click on export and you'll notice at the bottom of the page, the file is now downloaded. I'm gonna click on it and open and it's going to ask me how do I want to open it so I can pick more apps and pick notepad you can simply open a JSON file in a notepad it's hard to read you can actually have it formatted by a JSON editor if you would like Google Chrome Web Store has an app that you can use for JSON editing this is the JSON editor Conduct a search on Google for JSON editor and you will come to a screen that looks something like this. Once you're here, go ahead and install that app and click on launch app. This is the JSON editor interface that you can use to read the JSON file. So I'm gonna go here in my notepad, copy all this content and go to JSON editor and put it back here. So here you can see it's much more readable in this format. However, you don't need to worry yourself about it. If there are certain changes that you wanna make, then you can quickly make them here. Or if you're just going to use it as it is and import it in another account, then you don't need to read. All you need to do is just know where your JSON file is and then import it. So now your JSON file is ready. Next, I'm going to go into a brand new container that does not contain any information and then import this container to show you what comes when you import it into your account. Your container or your account does not have to be empty. It can contain previous tags and triggers. Once you import this, you have an option to decide which tags and triggers you want to publish and which you don't want to. So let's see how it works. Here I have an empty container. 
So you can see there are no tags, no triggers, just standard built-in variables, no user-defined variables, nothing at all. So let's go back to overview. And here you can see it's all empty. So go to admin and click on import container because we're going to import the container that we exported from previous account. Now it's asking you to choose container file. And it also asks you if you want to create a new workspace or use the existing one. If you pick new, then it's going to create a brand new workspace. All your container information that's imported will be available in that workspace. If you click on existing in your account, if there are already workspaces that you have published or are working on, then you can pick the one that you want to use. So when you pick that, you will be given an option to pick the workspace that you want these tags, triggers, all this container information to be imported in. And then you will have an option to either overwrite that workspace with the new information or merge the existing content with the new information. So all of these will be available when you merge them. So you make that call. For now, we'll click on new because this is a brand new account and we don't have any existing workspaces. So click on new and then give your workspace a name and I call it new workspace and any description. So let's add imported container. Go ahead and save it. So since it's a new workspace, it doesn't matter overwrite or merge. I'm just going to leave it overwrite. And now we are ready to import our container file. So click here to choose the container file that you want to import. And go to where that file is. It's in my download and find that JSON file. And here is the JSON file. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. And now it shows me how many tags are there, how many triggers are there, how many variables and templates. Click on view detail changes to see the details of each of these options. So click on view detail changes. And here you can see what tags are available, what triggers are available and what variables are available. Let's go ahead and click on confirm. And all of a sudden you can see now 19 changes have been added to this workspace. All these triggers, tags, variables are now here. Here you can make any changes before publishing if you would like. So click on it. And here you can make any changes that you would like by clicking on the pencil icon. If you would like to delete it, then you can simply click on these three dots and click to delete it. Once you're done and satisfied, go ahead and preview or just submit and you're done. So that's how you import and export containers.